Hi guys, Renee here. I'm going to do a quick review on the Southern Cross Small Arms Type N Lite. Now this thing is chambered in 223 Wild, which means it's 223 or it's cross compatible with 556. Now it has a stainless steel barrel with a 1 in 8 twist, 16 and a half inches long. Now I've made some alterations, aesthetic changes to this rifle. I've gone with different optics and I've thrown a light up the front. So I'll go through those and then we'll talk about some of the other basics of the gun. All right, so you can see that it's clear. I'll just fire that action off. And I'll give you a quick view of what it comes with. So it comes standard with two PMAGs, Gen 3s. Now, if you're not familiar with the PMAG, they're really easy to load. You just snap them in from the top. Um, can't go wrong. Nice and quick. All right, they're just snap caps. So I'll just give you a quick demo of how the rifle cycles. Now it locks, you can't cycle that action. Look how easy these mags fall out though. Really easy to handle. Okay. Um, it locks out on your last round when the, when the mag's empty. It just locks on the back of that lug here on the mag. Uh, it's just an indicator, I guess it's just an indicator to say empty mag, switch out. Um, straight trigger. Or the straight blade trigger. I was a bit dubious at the at first because I've never used one. Um, it's it not posed an issue. It's it's comfortable. It it has a nice pull. There's not a lot of creep in it. It's it's very definitive. Uh, you know, pointing the trigger is pulling the trigger, but it, you don't have to be that forceful that you snatch your shot. So yeah, well done there, guys. This is my second Type N light. The first one I had had some issues with cycling. Now, Southern Cross Small Arms, thank you guys again. They came to the party. They couldn't correct it after having it back a couple of times. So they did replace the rifle. So I'm going to give you some, some observations of my first rifle and observations of my new rifle. Now, the first rifle, I probably fired about 200 rounds through it. Um, the Cerakote turned to crap very quickly. It was an early serial number. Uh, this rifle here, I've got, some, we'll say, mid-2000 serial number. The Cerakote on this, after nearly 500 rounds, is still absolutely perfect. The guys are doing it in-house now, and that has made all the difference. They're no longer outsourcing it. So, well done for reinvesting back into your business, and I hope that works well for you. Um, it's obviously, it's the goods on the product, so thank you. All right, add-ons. You can go on the Taipan Appreciation Group, which is on Facebook, uh, there's a guy on there named Jason Shank. Now, he provided me with the Picatinny add-ons. Now, these replace the standard injection-molded pump grips that come from SCSA. I've left the left-hand side one on there, and I've also put the Magpul angled foregrip on there. That just makes it a bit more aesthetic when you're gripping it. And I'm not having that cheese grater effect of my hand over a pick rail. So that's the reason I've gone that way. Jason also made the buffer tube adapter. This thing is the duck's nuts. It's nice and tight. It has no play at all, even after almost 500 rounds. I've gone a standard buffer tube and I've gone the mag pull fixed stock. So it's dropped a lot of the weight from the rear from the standard butt stock that comes with us from SCSA. And I've also thrown the Olight Boulder Tac R, I think it is, light on the front. Green laser, about six, sorry, 1300 lumen, uh, has strobe, high, low beam. I haven't tested this out in the bush yet, but just having a quick play in the backyard, holding it, it's bright. It's bright, it's got a great field of view. Okay, optics. I've got the EOTech ESPX 3 bar 2. This thing's great. I love it. And I've thrown the 5 by magnifier from EOTech on the back of that as well. Now, if you're just shooting instinctively through the scrub, you don't need the magnifier. 
You can just throw it out of the way and just use the holographic weapon sight as you please. Anything sort of 100 metres and on, just put that back in place. Now, how accurate is this rifle? It's ridiculously accurate, and that is the truth. Um, at 100 metres, resting on the bench on my elbows, these are my results. So that's sub MOA every day of the week. That's 20 rounds. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. 200 meters, not an issue. You, you're still getting great results. But what most impressed me was 500 meters. Uh, steel gong, two foot by one foot, out at 500 meters, 80% of the time. And that's using these basic sights. So maximum magnification for me is five by and I'm still hitting that gong out at 500 meters. So ridiculously accurate, amazing fun rifle. It's nice and easy to go through the bush with. It's small, it's light. It's not super light, but it's light. Uh, you throw a sling on there and you can just carry this thing all day, every day without an issue. So I've got a couple of other videos that'll add on to the back of this. It'll be me out on the farm and it'll also be me on the range just having a bit of fun um yeah please enjoy the video take what you will from it would i recommend this rifle 100 percent yes what ammunition was i using to get such accurate groupings i was using the cheap nasty winchester 55 grain like 20 bucks for 20 rounds just standard factory ammo and this thing was just bang on so you don't need to spend big bucks to get results out of this rifle um it's australian made please i've, I've faffed on about my lithgo and i'll faff on about this thing support aussies um support australian made support our industry these guys are only going to grow and grow and grow i mean they've, they've just released the taipan x i'm, I'm not going to comment on it i've never touched one but i'm looking forward to getting my hands on one but for now, I'm going to enjoy playing with my Taipan Lite. And this is something that I'll have in the safe for a lot of years to come because this will be a fun farm rifle. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Please leave as many comments as you like, whether they're positive, negative, neutral. And drop me a line if you've got any further questions or you have any requests or want, you know, reviews on optics, lights, anything. I'm having a bit of fun with this and I look forward to growing with you guys. Okay, thanks, take care, be good.
Thank you. 